So this was my old Dakota fire pit, but uh, this is going to be changed and it's going to be the start to my ultimate fire pit that we invented on Skype. So yeah, stay by. So I know it looks a bit uh, of a mess right now, but I have roughly the size, six foot two inches, exactly. Here's my uh, extremely crude drawing of it. It's going to be a cross between, well, a mix of decoder air holes going into the back of a trench fire pit and also because it's six foot it's going to be a long log one so it's mixed between all these fires we've learned in here and uh, a little bit of imagination with me and a friend online and we thought well four air holes for a trench fire pit and we'll see if we can make an ass that's me there you like my little stick man <laughs> So yeah, this is uh, basically going to be the trench, and I'm going to have my four air holes periodically spread out through the back. I have the outline sorted now. Just going to take it down like another foot and a half, and then put in the air holes periodically across the back wall and then lace the entire bottom of the pit with stone and then we're ready to go I'll put you on the tripod and lie down next to this fire right just so you can see the sheer size of it I'm six foot two Half a foot at the bottom spur. Totally awesome. Right, so I've started to put the uh, back air holes in. Four of them. They'll be a little bit bigger. That's just to mark them out where I'm going to put them. So I can keep this back wall strong and just go down. Not too far off now, maybe another two hours. When that's lit, it is going to be, oh, it's going to be biblical, totally. The heat, I can't wait. Okay, so the pit is complete, about two foot deep, just under seven foot long, about three foot wide. We have two of our air holes through already. Gary's came to give us a hand with the digging today. <laughs> He's been doing the air holes. Got one here, one here, one here, one here. From the inside, we have the, obviously you can see light through that one. This one we're, we're through. This one we're still working on, and this one we're still working on. But we're stopping for a smoke and a cup of coffee. It's looking epic. Long log fire, trench fire and the decoder fire pit all bound into one totally epic
This fire's so deep that we're actually at the water table right now. I'd say like another shovel and it'll be filling with water. So I'm not going any deeper on the pit. It's uh, looking pretty, pretty goddamn epic. All of our air holes are pretty much through. Gary's just working on the last one. Everyone, it's, I mean, I've never ever had air holes like this in a campfire. I mean, you've seen Dakota Fire Pit 2, half of that, but not on a log log fire. This is just something really, really special. That is it. All four air holes are finished. If it's totally complete now. Oh no, it's not actually. We've got to line it with stones. We've got to line it with stones, yeah. <laughs> Shit, I forgot about that. I was getting ready to light that bad boy. Yeah, we've got to line it with stones. So we uh, have almost half of our, well, over a little bit left. This patch here and that patch there. And then. That's sweet as. I've kept all the soil in three piles, one, two, and one over there, three. So I can fill it back in once I've used it enough. Awesome. This is totally an extreme fire pit. Completely unnecessary, but when you add a little bit of imagination, sometimes you you need to see what it looks like in real life. And that just, it's wow, that's like an incinerator. So just because this fire is physically so massive, we're gonna have to trim back the shelter. It's not trim back it as in cut down trees. It's trimmed back as in there's some dead branches that are pulling this out so we're just going to push it all back so it's lower down above the seats to there pretty much so it's not up here and take that off and uh, so that there's no hassle, no hassle of, uh, of uh, a fire like this getting out of control. Say so two metres, maybe three metres. So uh, clear that shit up. We've cleared back the shelter, so it's now no longer an issue of anything setting on fire. We've started to fill up with wood. A lot of wood. It's all stone lined. So it almost feels uh Absolutely amazing this fire and look at my small zebra can compared to the fire How epic is that? So from this picture and a conversation on Skype This has emerged and I'm gonna light it shortly and I'm going to do it in three sections like I did my last long log fire so hopefully it'll work the way we want it to
so we are lit in three parts and uh, I don't know if you hear anything anything yet you have to wait for the, the whole thing to catch before it starts sucking the air through And that, guys, is the end of our uh, extreme fire pit. It has the air holes from a decoder fire pit, the stone base from a trench fire pit, and obviously, as you can see, it's a long log fire. So yeah, I'm going to cut this end video end now, and I shall be cooking on this on my camp video following this video so you can all catch that then and I'll catch you all soon